Cinema 5D at NAB 2017 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. G-Technology, storage solutions for any stage of your workflow. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and we're here at NAB 2017 at the DJI press conference. And uh, I have Adam here from DJI. And Adam, you have once again stolen the show with a very impressive tool. This is the Ronin 2. Please tell us a little bit about this new um, product that you have. We're really happy to have a transformative product here. You know, the original Ronin changed the game for a lot of professional film and TV people because it takes the same gimbal technology that lets a drone camera stay rock steady even when it's being buffeted by the wind, and it put it in the hands of the people who need to be able to use this the most to get incredible stabilized video when they're on the move. So we listened to the feedback that we've heard from the professionals who've been using the Ronin, and we rebuilt Ronin 2 from the ground up. You have rock solid stability, you have a much more powerful motor on the top here that gives you uh, much more torque. It lets you fight against the forces of nature even stronger to get a stable video, whether you're running, whether you're in a, where you mount it on a vehicle going 75 miles an hour bouncing through the desert, you're going to get the kind of shots and the kind of stability that you want. You have hot swappable batteries, so this is plugged in and running right now. I can, if I need to replace the batteries, take out one at a time. The unit stays powered overall, and that way, in this much time, You've just recharged the batteries, you replace the batteries, you've given yourself another two and a half hours of time with a major camera, and your entire film set is back on the move. This is going to make it a lot easier and a lot simpler to keep the production moving, keep the energy moving, and not waste the time and money of everybody who's waiting on a set for you to make things happen. We now have a, on, on the back of Ronin 2, there's a small control panel that offers you a lot of the functionality that you're used to having on the Assistant app. So, and it even has buttons, so if you're working in a sub-zero film set, you can adjust, you, you can uh, control the, the camera's motions and the gimbal's motions without even having to take your gloves off. I also like that you don't have to connect the uh, iPhone or your computer via Bluetooth or whatever anymore because this was always a real hassle to set up the device. Yeah. If you need to fine-tune an adjustment to make sure that you're balanced, you no longer have to unhook the whole thing and spend time getting it all back in place. You have these knobs that let you do micro adjustments and uh, you know if you just need a little tweak, boom, you make that tweak, you're back in business. So it's the versatility, it's the flexibility, it's the raw power encased in this, and it's a pretty cool looking piece of equipment too. Uh, about the micro adjustments yeah. and the motors, so uh, does it mean when I have stronger motors that I can basically have the camera not balanced perfectly and will still be steady? You, you do have a little more flexibility in terms of that. Um, you, and you know, one of the other things that gives you much more flexibility, there's now an internal GPS unit in here. That GPS helps keep you centered when you're in fast motion, when you're in situations like that. Uh, it still delivers the same kind of sub-pixel level reliability of 0.02 degrees that the original Ronin promised. So you, you get that, it's all different kinds of techniques, whether it's mechanical, whether it's GPS based, um, whether it's updating the algorithms within this to make sure that you get the stability you need, in, no matter how jostling, how busy, how fast the situation is. So this uh, Ronin is really targeted at professionals, yes, right? Yes, this is very much a model for professional users. It's, um, you know, because that's the market that demands it. You need to have something that's reliable and rock solid. We built this with that audience in mind. And it's so much more ergonomic. I mean, I really like that you guys focused on the ergonomics of the things because that's really for many people, especially professionals, uh, the most important thing. You don't want your camera and your gear to slow you down. You want it to to work for you, you want it to be fast. That's exactly and flexible. The case. Yeah, you know, we got a lot of feedback from a lot of people who use the original Ronin for a lot of hours. Mm -hmm. And, you know, something that's a minor annoyance in the first hour can be a real pain by the 12th hour on a set. So we listened to a lot of that feedback and tried to build into what we're doing here. So, guys, we just turned on the Ronin 2, and uh, I'm trying to work against the force of the motor here, and it's amazing. This is five times stronger than the Ronin, right? Yes. So the strength of this is really, really impressive. It's like unlike anything I've seen on a gimbal. 
you know, you're putting that power to work for you. That that yeah. kind of power is fighting against the vehicle, the the, the gravity <laughs> that's responding to the vehicle that you're bouncing along on. That kind of power is responding to any minor deviations in how you've mounted it. How much is the uh, is the product? So we're going to release the price when we formally launch the product. When when we release the product, which is going to be by the end of the second quarter, you can expect to see it in June. Okay. Do you have a ballpark figure? I'm sure somebody in my office has a ballpark figure, but at this point we just want everybody to be impressed with the technology that they're seeing here so far. Okay. It, it appears to be pretty heavy. How, uh, how, uh, how much does it weigh, more or less, in comparison to the original Ronin? Um, fully loaded, ready to go, uh, before you've put third-party products on here, it's about 12 pounds, which, um, you know, it's 12 pounds. Um, but you need that kind of strength to have a powerful motor powerful battery to make that motor work and to be able to carry a 30 pound payload so you know if, if you want the smallest gimbal you can get we do make smaller ones if you want the most powerful gimbal that can handle the most versatile situations you're going to be looking at this and you know remember handheld is one use for this you're also going to be mounting it on vehicles on a study cam on a cable cam um, on a we have a ready rig set up on display here to show you how when you're able to use that to balance the weight and be carrying it on the rest of your body it makes a big difference in your comfort level using it so it's really intended for larger cameras, larger uh, setups? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, there's nothing stopping you from putting an A7 on here. but um, when It would work with an A7. It certainly would work, um, yeah. But, you know, when you are shooting with a RED, when you're shooting with an Alexa, when you're shooting with a big professional Sony, um, this is, and, and when you have a lens that's bigger than some people's cameras, you need uh, to be able to mount it. You need to have that kind of power. You have to have that kind of ability on there. And this is the gear that... Um, makes it done in in a package that, frankly, is surprisingly lightweight for what it's able to do. Adam, thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoyed this. Glad you're here.